it's a matter of drive. It's just, it's very simple. It's what drives you, helps you wake up. That's kind of what you make work about. That's what I make work about. I was born in Moscow, raised partially in Dagestan and Moscow, and then my artistic education took place in Great Britain in Goldsmith and now at the Royal College of Art. And I think it gave me a completely different methodology of working, which I would not be able to acquire in Russia. The amount of other artworks that I've seen provided this ability and opportunity to look differently at my motherland, to look differently at the various traditions of the Republic of Dagestan and re-examine them critically. My background is um, in photography, so if you look at my work, it's very photographic, like camera moves rarely, it's kind of very sad shots. It can function as a window, you know, as an entry point into, I don't know, a different world or somewhere else. It takes some time to notice the figure that is in there. If you think about the walk, it's, it's about fear, because it's a tiny human walking on the edge of a cliff. And the human is so tiny, and this is the scale we never see ourselves at. And I guess kind of the question of scale, the question of how one associates and relates to the landscape, the fear, the anxiety, I guess. These were the things I was interested in. The message I'm trying to relate to the Western world and non-Western world, because I do exhibit in Dagestan, varies from project to project. With the Fast and the Furious, um, I covered a car in um, old Soviet fur coat, so it became this massive, I don't know, venison furs or this massive furry car. And that was my pass into it. It was kind of my pass into this very gendered, masculine uh, community. So it's always just thinking, how can I show a different side of every community, I suppose, in my work. My work does not exist without the audience, and I don't make it just for myself. I make it for everyone else. Thank you.